Today I want to show you an easy but very effective technique that will allow even the absolute beginner to knit a unique and one-of-a-kind garment. We are going to make a scarf today, a unique scarf. And of course to make the scarf we will need yarn. This, uh, this scarf can be made on any machine. The main requirement is to knit the scarf very loosely on your machine. Much looser than the normal tension for this yarn. To make the fabric much looser than the one that would be acceptable for a regular garment for this particular yarn. So I cast on 80 stitches on my bulky machine and I start knitting my scarf. So I'm knitting it very loosely. See how loose it is? So I'm going to knit 400 rows and then show you the next steps. After I've, I'm done with my 400 rows, I will cast off and we will continue creating our scarf. Another important requirement to make this technique work is to use the yarn that's at least 50% wool. So here we are, we needed, in my case, 400 rows and now we are casting off. You don't have to follow my instructions as far as the number of rows. Uh, you just need to knit a long rectangle. So the length of your rectangle should be about 30% longer than the desired length of your scarf. It's very important to use the right yarn for this technique to work. Once again, it has to be at least 50% wool. It could be any kind of mix. It could be wool and silk mix. It could be wool and acrylic mix and so on. It doesn't matter as long as it has at least 50% of wool in that mix. So here we are, finished our cast off and weaving in the ends right away. So our next step, for our next step, we will need any round items, lightweight round items. I'm using these small balls for that. You can use walnuts, you can use any round objects that have fairly lightweight. So here's what we're doing next. We spread our the edge of our scarf out. I'm using this grid to position my balls evenly, but if you don't have the grid, you can use just a regular ruler and the chalk. To place to mark the spots where you want to put your you want to put the balls and then I'm using the uh, tiny rubber bands to fix the balls in place this tiny this tiny rubber bands I use to tie little piggy tails for my dogs but here I'm gonna use them to fix this little balls in place. So I wrap these balls with the fabric of my scarf and then I fix them in place with these tiny rubber bands. 
you should be um, f making those rubber bands fairly tight and of course you can use any any order you prefer as you add the, the balls in this mix whatever order that pleases your eye it's it's your choice and it's your call tight them so fix them in place with those tiny rubber bands real tight this is not a rocket science this is a very easy technique and again since you're just needing a straight plain stockinette stitch rectangle you can use absolutely any machine to make this scarf so I would like to position the balls on my scarf like this in this order yours might and probably will look completely different and that's fine so I twist my rubber bands to make sure they holding the, bo the balls in place I recommend that you use tiny rubber bands so you don't have to do too many tw too many too much twisting as you're fixing your round objects in place so now I switch to the other end of my scarf and do the exact same thing on the other end of my scarf I like to start in the middle and then go to each direction it's such a fun thing to do you can actually do it together with your kids I think they will enjoy placing the balls in your scarf I think they will really enjoy that so again position them in any order you prefer it's your choice so a few more here and there across the edges of our scarf that's a very attractive bunch that we end up with after placing the balls and so here we are ready for the next step now we're gonna use a few much larger balls the tennis balls the ones that I would I recommend that you use and we go to our washing machine we put our scarf inside the washing machine and then we add these balls to the mix we add a little bit of detergent for for wool garments then we turn our our machine on using warm water add some extra time for rinsing and we're ready to go let your machine do the rest of the magic let it wash your scarf
so the washing is done we took our scarf out of the washing machine and now we taking the balls out so we carefully take the rubber bands off and then extracting the balls from our scarf so and this is the interesting effect that we get by doing this see this the volume and the 3D effect that we get from using the balls like that here yeah. if you wish you can keep the rubber bands in place in this case uh, each of these 3D things will be more pronounced so it's up to you so look at it very simple easy to make unique interesting looking and just one of a kind item one of a kind scarf and the amazing thing about it now it doesn't matter how long you wear it and how many times you're gonna wash it it will stay like this so all I have to do is just let it dry and give it as a gift to my friend create create with me be inspired Neat, love knitting, love your wool, love your thread, and it will love you back.